Okay, so um, this is just going to be super quick. I was just uh, messing around with something. Uh, when I first ordered my sync devices, I I first I bought a four port one like right away when I realized oh I want to get one of these, and it was um it was pretty inexpensive. So uh, shortly thereafter is when I bought the one uh, that I think uh, most people have been looking at, which is that eight port from Shoe One. Um, but one of the things that I've sort of had a problem with, um, was how, how and, and other people have had this problem too, is what do you do when you want to control just one character when they need to, uh, click on something or, or do movement or perhaps do the spell or whatever. Um, and of course, a lot of, a lot of us have talked about, um, you know, con clever setup of, of, uh, modifiers for movement keys, like, you know, shift left and right. Um, some forward, not um, like for instance, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, um, you'll know that I have. Uh, should I turn music off? Huh. Um, a second, got like all of these singing to me at once. Um, I actually don't have my. Uh, so annoying um i do not have my followers set up to move forward with my normal movement keys they only go forward when uh, i'm holding on shift for those let's go ahead and turn that off um which works sometimes but you know there are plenty of situations where it won't work so anyway uh today real quick over my lunch which is rapidly uh ending i um tested out taking my 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 mouse that I was using off of the the eight port sync device and putting it on the four port and then running that to the four computers I'm using so that works because I'm only using four and of course so like in order for the, any of that to work um, you have to be able to swap two care two specific machines with the mouse and of course just like the other device there's uh, hotkeys for that so you have to set up basically mouse macros and have a mouse that can hold all of those macros on buttons. So, you know, I'm using MMO mouse, which means 12 buttons on the side. Um, you know, you would need a mouse button with at least five macro bull buttons if you wanted to be able to um, swap to any five characters and then a sixth one for turning sync on and off. So this other device I have is from a company called Amos, basically aim OS. Um, that sounds pretty ominous, like if you're a FPS player, but it's just another sync device, um, same thing, but this one only has uh, four ports and it uses different hotkeys for turning sync on and swapping to machines. Um, this device is, is more uh, numpad based. Anyway, that's all just an aside. Uh, essentially at this point, I've got a, a dedicated switch for my keyboard and a dedicated switch for my mouse. I've got you know a gaming keyboard that has all the macros set up to switch you know between clients um, or computers and of course turn them all on and off. So um, with that said, I've of course set up uh, something where you know it's again I don't have the hardware to show you everything at once, but I'll do a fan out macro here. If I could, actually, that's a star macro. So I just want to put all of those characters in different places. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate like what it looks like if I switch to mouse control on one of those. So I'm going to turn my head a little and now I'm controlling that character while I'm strafing with my main. All right. Now everybody's moving forward, left, but I'm still controlling this one. Right. So the idea here is that uh, what you would do while you're moving you know, this other character who I should probably run into focus here. Here I am. This is me right here. Whee! Um, is, you know, you could click on something, you know, you're paying attention to the other screen. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> thinking in two different locations at once, but, but also maybe click healing could be a thing, but you're just, you're continuing to hit your DPS key. Um, on the keyboard. So the keyboard is in a sync state, the mouse is not. And so, um, you know, like on this one, I've got it set up so that 
this button turn sync on so everybody runs and then the nice thing about this device is if you press sync again it goes back to the machine that you were controlling which is not the case for the shoe one device so that's something worth noting um, the other thing I figured out and it's a little different uh, on this device is how to get out of absolute positioning mode so absolute positioning mode which I'm gonna grab my other mouse which is now plugged into the shoe one this this is what this is what absolute positioning mode looks like so if I uh, turn off sync and I'm gonna you can see like as I try to run it it's really really strange um, and if sync is on like it's not so bad now like this was never really a problem like a single a single uh, desktop using the mouse with the a port shoe one but when sync is on like I'm sure some of you have seen my other streams uh, might remember that I noted how how really like good out of combat stuff was for clicking NPC dialogue menus um, and and like you know clicking on like quest items or whatever that you have to use uh, just anything related to like where is my cursor and does it line up I haven't done any uh, node gathering at all but um, I'm pretty sure that would be pretty good too. Like uh, being a treasure chest and stuff, I did plenty of quest items right on the ground. Like that was all really good. And as long as I had my set view kicking off to keep my cameras all you know pointing the same direction, and um, the characters more or less standing on top of each other, which is pretty easy to do with um, having bindings that were sort of set up intelligently, it was all pretty good. But then trying to move, you see, like, I'm jumping all over the place. Like, and that's happening on all of the screens. In fact, somebody seems to have gone out of range, so I'll have to check on that. So the reason for that um, is, I believe, that the, um, the default is an absolute positioning mode. And what that effectively means is that the device is actually trying to keep all of the mouse cursors in the same place on all of the screens and it doesn't work for 3d games or at least doesn't work for a while and i imagine in any 3 3d game uh you know that isn't like a clicker uh is is going to suffer from that so with um with the aim aimer amos as it looks like with this thing four port one you can uh a little easier on this device, switch it into relative mode. Again, it's uh, num key, and then uh, you got to hit a function key. And uh, when you are in relative mode, um, you know it doesn't jump around, which is great. Downside is, and you're not going to be able to see this until I can stream everything, but the uh, the cursor position does get out of sync, and so you'll find like you'll be like if I was mousing over, um, just click click on this NPC here. That was really weird. All right. So let's just all go talk to him. If we can't. We can't. So let's go grab a... What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> like, what? I'm saying this is fixed, but it's still happening. It's because my cord is bumping the other mouse, which is in sync mode. So yeah, that's another thing. As I've complained about, bumping the mouse causes fun stuff to happen when there's more than one hooked up. All right. So... If we all go talk to this person, um, and I have mouse sync mode on, like for instance, right now on my main screen, <laughs> the you can see where the cursor is, but on the rest of them, all like all the other devices, the cursor is actually over here. And so to fix that, I don't know, I just figured this out. I just run the cursor around the screen to like all of the bounds, and then it's synced up again. So that's the downside to relative positioning mode is that uh, your, your mouse will get out of sync. And when it's time to do something that needs precision, you got to, you know, like draw a circle around, around your monitor and then everything's fine. So trade off for sure. But um, what, it, what it does allow me to do is switch to a severe, like a very specific user, only use the mouse on there while everybody else is, is doing stuff. So um, you can't really see this. I guess maybe I should turn turn my main character around the one that you guys can actually see so i'll go start 
you know, moving about. We already did that one. So this one. So, you know, we're all jumping. No, we're not. Now we're all jumping. And this person's running around, right? So mouse movement and like, let's say I wanted to, um, you know, cre create a health stone. You can, you can see that in action. Um, and if I had more time, I would jump out and start questing and, and sort of running this through its paces. Um, I mean, the, the, the gameplay I had last night with um, my warriors and these warlocks uh, was very smooth. Um, it was... It was, it was pretty great. Uh, and, and of course, that, that is a function of, of casters not requiring an interactive target. The warriors were okay. Um, using you know a dedicated single button macro, that's just all it does is do... I mean, or quite honestly, if interact with target needed to be easier, you could just bind it to a button. Um, and let me just get control back on the main. And so by that, like, you know, I've sort of maybe stubbornly stuck to my my keystrokes that I was using for certain things uh, from what I had with Ice Boxer. But in all honesty, maybe I just do this. Maybe I don't need to look at my PvP pane. And, you know, with how I have my keys, my G key is usually what I pound on for, for DPS, and H is right there. And, um... I'm not necessarily a fan of taking my hands away from the strafe key, which might be some. So I could, I could pick a different key, right? I guess is what I'm saying. Like maybe, you know, I've been using tilde for sort of like a quick panic skill. Um, maybe I use that. Maybe I used to use Z for whenever I needed a speed boost. Um, maybe, maybe that's something I could change, you know? So you don't necessarily need to use keyboard or mouse macros to do interact with target. You can just rebind the key. All right, I think that's gonna be it for now.